Hey guys, it's your boy Joe back at it again, man. Codingface.com, your boy is back and out and did it again. Guys, listen, there's a very special article right here on Hacker News, man. Does education kill creativity? This is a very bold statement from this guy. His name is Eric P.M. Vermeulen. Uh, he's a professor, executive, and entrepreneur. Uh, shares insights about how digital world is changing the ways. It's too long. Buddy, your your subtitle's too long. <laughs> we love you, man. Now, but um guys, like this is special, right? Because I agree with this a lot of times. I'm gonna tell you this little story. I don't know if I told it here online or, or not. I was going to Brooklyn Tech uh, in Brooklyn. <laughs> Makes sense, right? Brooklyn Tech in Brooklyn. Um, yeah, so I was going there for my communication design degree, a bachelor's degree. Um, and pretty much, I'll never forget this. I was in an HTML class, HTML 101. I've been doing HTML for over 10 years. I started doing this at freaking 14 years old. Like, I know HTML. Like, there's really no need to anybody come in and try to teach me anything. Because I know HTML. I know how to do it. I know how everything works. I've been doing this for a long time, right? Uh, that's like when some people come in and, and try to tell me, you're missing this HTML. Why aren't you using the header tag for your header div? Like, bro, I've been doing this for... F I've been doing this since 14 years old. Shut your mouth. Don't tell me nothing, right? So... <laughs> <laughs> I'm joking, man. Uh, but yeah, basically, I was in this class, and one of the teacher goes like, "Okay, she's teaching us like a real ugly website, like the basics." On top of that, she was using how you call this Adobe Dreamweaver, right? And she's like, "Okay, guys, I want you guys to create uh, a menu system on the top." And I want you guys to create a little paragraph with, you know, something about you. And then just on the bottom, put a little footer. Copyright by your name, right? And I'm like, okay, cool. I'm going to come back to class. I'm going to create an amazing website, responsive. I'm going to make it, you know, the menu. You click on the menu on the top. The menu pops up to the side. Every single icon shows up, you know, by using delays and animations. So, it's like a nice, something that you could be proud of. Something that if I would have shown it today would be like on the top page of codepen.io. All right. So I'm there creating this stuff. I build it. I show up to the class. She goes like, where is the menu? This looks nice. It has some nice colors. Uh, but where is the menu? And I'm thinking in my head, I'm like, wait. Are you the teacher or, or or not? Like in my head, I'm thinking, I'm like, you're teaching HTML 101 and you've never seen a freaking hamburger, right? A hamburger menu. And she's like literally going like this with the mouse, moving from side to side. She's like, but where's the menu? I can't find the menu. And I'm thinking in my head like this. I'm like, this was what? This was like... 2013 around there 2012 2013 and I'm like I'm like this shocked by the fact that this person is teaching HTML and I go like you come here to the right you click there there's a little button see that little thing that's actually a menu that's actually a standard online now and she's like oh no this isn't what I asked you I'm like, this is how things are done right now. This, this is how the web is going. This is how things are made. And she's like, oh, no, this isn't what I asked. What I asked was the menu just on the top, just the words here, and that's it. That's all I wanted from you. And I'm like, I can't do that, but that's not being creative. That's not coming here and creating stuff. Like People were coming in with websites like this, man. No lie, guys. I'm not lying to you guys. People were coming in with websites like this. 
I came in with a full design. Like, guys, I've been doing this for so long, man. Like, I'm really good. People were coming in with websites like this in 2013 because they're brand new developers. I mean, they wasn't even developers. They're designers who are learning HTML. Me, I'm a developer. I know what the hell I'm doing. I was just taking a, com a communication design degree. But I've, I'm have i a freaking developer. I've been doing, doing this for a long time. I had interest in this for a very long time, right? So I go in there with an amazing website, and this lady, she's just picking apart my website. And I'm looking at other people's websites like this, and I'm like, are you seeing what I'm seeing right now? And I told her, are you seeing what I'm seeing in this course, in this class? And she's like, uh, no, but the problem is that you, you didn't do what I told you to do. All I wanted was a simple menu on top. And this is where it comes to this guy's uh, message here. You know, where he says, does education kill creativity? Why we must be more creative about the education of the future. Right? Now, of course, he goes into more details and other stuff. But the title alone hit a, hit a, a core in me, right? And it's just like, man, education is pretty dumb. Right. In the sense of when you're somebody creative, when you're somebody smart and you're out of the box, like you're you're not supposed to be in that type of system because they haven't created anything like that. Teachers come in with a, a book that tells you, oh, this is how you're supposed to do it. If anybody else does it a different way than this, that's a minus. Right. So mind you, I know all this stuff. I helped out every single person in the class to pass the class because people, you know, there's people that just don't like to code. There's people that just hate, they look at that and they're like, oh. their brain start freaking turning into mush, right? They look at the code, they're done. It's like a glazed over their eyes and, and everything. But I helped everybody in the class pass. You know what the teacher gave me? A B minus. And I asked her, why did you give me a B minus? She goes like, well, on your... Your very first test, I gave you a 65. And I'm like, when did you give me a 65? She's like, oh, you remember that time that you didn't do the menu? And I'm like, I'm like this, literally. I'm like, how the fuck, how the hell do people become teachers if they don't know what's going on in the industry this is the main reasons why i tell people we don't even go to college man because college is not guaranteed the best education college is guaranteed a paper doesn't mean that you're gonna know everything you know how many people hit me up with computer science degrees on my emails and you would think like somebody with a computer science degree, they're like super smart and they know all the stuff and they're very secure on themselves. It's like, no. Yeah, it's like they got a degree and in reality, they didn't even get, you know, educated the proper way. They didn't teach them anything. And I saw that firsthand. I was like, man, how the hell do I know more than the teachers? And I get a lower grade for being creative, being somebody who... Is coming out with something new, something different, something edgy, something that's ahead of its time. I was doing stuff that people, nobody understood what the hell I was doing. I was like, no lie, stuff that I see now on websites, I was doing back then. So, you know, it's like you don't get applauded for being different. When it comes to the educational system, people are, are supposed to follow a certain way, a certain way of doing things. It's like I look at, people, you know, my little nephew's homework. It's like you could go in there and get the answer. Let's say uh, a certain division, right? You doing a, dividing a number. You could go ahead and, and say, hey, 12 divided by 4 is 3, right? So you come in and somebody will tell you, hey, this is wrong. And you'll be like, why? Because you didn't do it the same way that you were supposed to do it. And you're like, wait, what? 
you didn't do it the way how you were supposed to do it. We have a certain format that this is how you're supposed to get the answer. If you didn't follow that way, you're automatically wrong. Yeah, but it says three there. That's the number three. 12 divided by four is three, isn't it? And in the educational system nowadays, they're like, nah, you have to do it our way. If not, you're wrong. That's some BS, man. Like, you know what I mean? This happens all the time. That's why I'm like, to me, college, high school, I mean, you, you, you got to finish high school. But college is just straight up BS, man. It's a way to get money. It's super expensive. Uh, you know, it's like a way to get people back into uh, the, the debt system. Only certain people get to actually really get something out of college. Like if you go to an Ivy League school, in reality, you there for the connections. You're not really there for the education. You know, unless you go to MIT, yeah, you could go to MIT, but even in MIT, I don't even think that they have, because I look at the courses that they have online, and I'm like, these are cool, these are, are nice. Is it like mind blowing? Is it totally different than what I was learning in, in a community college when I was doing computer science? No, it's pretty much the same shit. But the only difference is it's in MIT. You have teachers that come in and, and encourage for you to create new stuff. You have other talented students in the class. So that's what, in reality, what you're really paying for, to be around those people. But the education itself is the same thing that everybody else is teaching. They're not teaching you anything else. But the good thing about it is, like I said, it's the people that are there, right? So you can go in there and be around kids who are geniuses, people who are going to push you to become a better developer, better programmer. But the education itself is nothing amazing. All right? So, yeah, man, you already know it's your boy Joe back at it again, man. CodingFace.com. Make sure you subscribe to my channel. Make sure you like this video. Share it with your friends. Show to see your, you know, whoever, your girlfriend, your girlfriend laying down. Be like, here, ma, learn something new. I got you. I found you a good channel. Okay, ma? <laughs> Listen, guys, subscribe to my channel. Check out my website, codingface.com. If you're looking to learn about web development and programming in general, check the links below, right on my description. All right? I love you guys. Stay up. Guys, check the description right now. 50% off everything. You dig? Bow.